Hi there, welcome back to Summerwood Stables. I'm Nina here behind the camera, and we've got David with Mercy again today for our Liberty Lovers lesson live. And um, last time we were working on um, stand and wait. And stand and wait is a really important one. It's sort of the foundation for a lot of other Liberty that you will do. Um, any kind of different props that you might use. Um, stand and weight is super important foundationally. So the stand and weight can be very difficult on a day where the horse has a lot of energy. Um, stand and weight can be very easy on a day where the horse is distracted and looking at things and you can actually take advantage of the fact that they're just standing on their own and waiting. Um, so you want to kind of assess what kind of a day it is by maybe just trying one and seeing where we are today. So David's going to see that. He put the cone out for himself because he's still feeling with Mercy like they need a physical, like a small physical barrier. She could certainly walk right over that cone, push the cone over if she wanted to go. But he just feels like he needs another bridge. There has to be, he wants to bridge it to her that she's supposed to stay in one area and he's walking to the other. Good, you can see that He's able to, last time he got, was able to get about this far. And she's still, she's still remembering that um, she's not supposed to go. He's doing another little trick of the trade. He's filling her mouth with extra treats to allow her chew time. So a lot of times while she's busy chewing and thinking about chewing and thinking about eating what she has in her mouth, she may not follow. And that is great. Then he can get away from her a little bit and then he'd be able to have something to praise her with. So Mercy's still very locked into the fact that David has the fanny pack and she's used to following him to earn treats. That is gonna be hard for a lot of you because that's where we start to, or the, that's where the road starts to diverge. That's where things start to splinter into different directions. So here you've been starting your liberty by really encouraging your horse to follow you and now you're telling your horse, no, I don't want you to follow me now. It's a little bit confusing at first, but that's okay. Because anything that's gonna be more advanced, and she, here she goes, she's trying to offer, she's trying to offer anything that she can think of to get the treat, and he just has to hold fast to, that's no, I, I don't mean that, I appreciate that. I appreciate your effort to try to wanna to offer me stuff, and I, I appreciate that you're engaged and you're thinking. You're thinking like, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? I mean, that's very generous, you know, thinking about what they can do for you. So that's sort of her default, <laughs> that she thinks, oh, he, you know, I'm going to give the Spanish walk. Who doesn't love a nice Spanish walk? <laughs> Who doesn't love a few beautiful jambettes? Tell her, tell her, it's okay. Say, it's okay. It's okay, Mercy. It's okay. Should I treat, treat her? Um, no, don't give her a treat. Just tell her it's okay. okay so and say, time. Mercy, tr so, Mercy, just listen for a moment. Just calm, be calm, and let's listen for a moment. And try to get her back into a calm space. We'll go a little again organic here right now and just see how this how this transpires. That's okay. Okay, now you can set your cone back up if you want to. And now tell her, oh you can leave oh, you don't have to move her. Okay. Just leave her where she is, uh -huh. it's fine. And tell her ho. 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 Good, give her something. Give her something for ho. Good. Good. So now we're we're reinforcing ho again. That's oh. what ho that's what ho means. Okay? Now you can say it again. Ho. Tell her ho. Oh, she's putting her face in. Okay, just tell her ho. Okay, now she's got her ho. Ho. Okay, and give her something for ho, but straighten her out when you give her the treat. Good. Now get a little bit more in front of her, but not where she's gonna get you. No, in front of her. In front of her. You went to the side of her. Thank you. Good. Ho. Ho. Good. Give her a treat for ho. Ho. Good girl. Good. We have to go back. We have to go backwards a little bit. This is something, again, they haven't worked on. So we have to retreat a little bit into the other direction. So we're now just reinforcing ho. ho. This is what ho means. Ho. And now I want you to say ho and stand. Ho and, then, and stand. No, just say it and okay. you can give her a treat. Ho, ho. and stand. Ho and stand. And, oh, and give a treat. And stand. Good, Mercy. Now, you're going to take the tiniest little step back and see what you've got, if you have anything. Do I say ho and ho stand? Ho and stand. Ho and stand. 
Good, and go back. Good. Beautiful. Very good, David. <laughs> Very good. Good, Mercy. Okay, and again. Ho. Ho. Ho and stand. And go back. Very good. good. Very good. So you just had to go back and work on your found. There was like a loose brick. There was a yeah. loose brick in the foundation. You got some mortar. You, you, you put the mortar in there. You shove the brick back in to get the foundation strong again. And now we can maybe see if we can take yeah, another step the, back. For the video and for me, mm -hmm. when they're being a, uh, very assertive with their nose, what do you... What do you what I do you tend do? to ignore it. Okay. I ignore it. Okay. So Tell so her... Go... Continue on. Ho. Ho and stand. You know what? I already had a carrot. Okay. So let me get it. Good. That's fine. Head. Yeah, you've got to be honest Otherwise with your treats. Yeah. Ho. Ho. And stand. And stand. Good. I think nervous. you can take. I saw. That's okay. Rather have you go back too soon than too late. So try again now Ho. for two steps. And stand. Good. Very Great. good. Very Just good, David. I think she's starting to understand. We had to slice it back down for her, and that is v very natural and very normal. One okay? More. And try to go a little further. Ho and stand. Good. Beautiful. Mercy. Beautiful. Good Beautiful. Mercy. Now try another step. Ho and stand. Good. Yes. Job, mercy. Yes. Can you go? Do you think you can go back even further? Good job. Mercy. I think she, I, I feel like she's getting it. Ho and stand. You, you had a moment of mistrust. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I got I to gotta take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Good, David. Relax. Relax. I, I think, think we've, I think we've got, I think we've got at least one more. Yeah. Mercy, ho, ho and stand. No, it's okay. Move back, back, back. Back. No. Uh uh. Say no. Back. Good. And ho. And ho. And stand. And stand. Good. Man, we got a really good rhythm. That's like it's okay. Road. It's okay. What do I do? This now? is where this is where she figures out. Oh, I see what I was doing before. They always have to make a few mistakes. Right. To, to realize what the right thing was and what the wrong thing is. So you're not, she's not going to get anything right now because she was already doing something a little bit more and better. So you just t tell her, ho and, ho and stand. Ho and stand. And, oh. you can give, and you can give her one. Give her a carrot now? Yes. Oh, okay. And now right away, ho, ho and stand. And stand. That's fine. That's fine. She didn't cross her cone. That's fine. One more. Uh-huh. Ho and stand. Nope. Tell her nope. Nope. Back. Back. Uh-uh. And ho and stand. Ho and ho. In case she wants That's to okay. Off. And stand. And treat. Ho and stand. Ho and... <laughs> ho and stand. Like I'm losing it. You you need to start again. Start again at the very beginning. Back. Oh, I know. I know, Mercy. I know. I know. It's frustrating. It's oh. it's it's frustrating for everybody, but it, it there's times where we have to subscribe oh. to the idea of a little bit of rupture and repair. Like oh. you have to go out of the comfort zone just a little bit. Oh. I feel like she, every time I say ho, she's I don't feel like her brain's following. So I'm hesitant to go. Don't don't go. Don't go until you feel you can go. You have oh, to trust your instinct. Oh, and stand. Nope. Ah. It's okay. T to ask her to go back. I'm worried that I'm overextending her her patience. Don't worry. I trust you. She's engaged. She's engaged still. She wants a treat. So you have to tell her they're all for oh. you. She knows they're all for her oh. when she when she oh. when she calms and listens. And stand. and stand. Good. Very good. Good, good girl. Job, good girl. And again. Ho and stand. Nah. I need you to have a, a have a word for no. Mine's like a nah. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. whatever. So she knows. She just has to know the difference. Like, oh no, that wasn't right. Like a buzzer Ho going. And stand. 
Yeah, and back Good. you go. Good. Good job, Mercy. Good. One more. You've got one more in ya. Mercy, ho. Ho and stand. Oh, I, uh, yeah, you're, it's okay. Give, give her another good. and try one more because I think I think you actually had that one more step. Yeah. Ho and stand. Good. Yes, very good, David. Good and now she can get the jackpot. Good okay, job, so here is the takeaway you're from today. Don't get frustrated. And I know what's hard. I always say, good you know, mercy. look for that first good, good moment. Job, so at about mercy. six minutes in, it was going really, really well, and he could have stopped. But... I felt that he did have one more in there. I think it's fine that they then had a little bit of a downslide because <laughs> I do believe that's when the horse measures. Okay, now I'm hearing some no's and I'm feeling a little frustration from the, from the human. Okay, so this isn't the right thing. What was I doing before when he was calm and he was happy and I was getting my treats and I felt better? And then she thinks back to like, oh, okay, yeah, I was just waiting here. He went away and I came back. You need to let them have time to digest all the information and then synthesize all that information and have it make sense to them. So this is all very important parts of building the relationship. It doesn't always have to go perfectly. Sometimes it's better if there are some mistakes because we all learn a little bit better, unfortunately. And sadly, we learn better from our mistakes. So it's, it's fine to, to have it go a little bit south and then you're going to bring it back. Now... If David wasn't able to bring it back and get another step from her, I would not want you or him to be out here for two hours trying to get that last step. So if, if it hadn't worked, we would have asked her just to hoe and stand, given her a couple of treats, and then David would have picked something else for her to do where she could get her jackpot, whether it would be stand on the pedestal, or maybe go for a little jog with him, or halt over a pole, whatever. Whatever it was, something that would be... Um, where she could easily get the reward for all the good work that she had done. So this is what I love about today. You get to see how incremental the sessions are. They didn't work for more than, we're at 12 minutes on the camera now, so they didn't work for more than 10 minutes, but you could see how much work it was. You know, David went through a whole range of emotions and feelings. And yep. do you feel tired a little bit, David? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, worked. And she like does too. Exhausting. It's mentally exhausting, but it's, energet it's energetically exhausting. And that's something that not all of us are used to using our energy. So when we come out and start that, and when our horses start it, you want to keep the sessions really, really short. Get good quality work. Do not worry about quantity. Get good quality work. And what I was saying about um, about rupture and repair, you know, I'm not talking about ha allowing the horse to have a complete, you know, meltdown, never getting to that point. What we call, we call that going over threshold. We don't want that. We don't want anybody going over threshold. But you can go just a teeny little bit further. And then you can always walk it back a little bit. And luck luckily for us, if we're compassionate and loving people with our horses, they have some generosity to us and they're willing to go, Okay, I'm going to try to give you that extra inch this time. And, you know, every few times you do want to ask for the extra inch because we have to grow. We have to get somewhere. So that extra inch has to come, you know, every few times. So you build the confidence, you build the self-esteem, and then a few sessions later, you ask for that extra inch. Maybe sometimes you can even see, oh, I think it's going to be two inches that I'm going to get today because we're having a really good day today, and that's fine too. You don't ever have to undersell yourself, but you don't want to oversell anything. You don't want to overdo anything. Always err to the side of underdoing. Um, and that's not because, you know, we're not setting ourselves up for to succeed and we, we don't want to have nice goals and all that. We are setting ourselves up to succeed. We want to keep the goals smaller and attainable. And that's how you build. You build on smaller, attainable successes. Okay, there was a lot of information today. I hope everybody um, enjoyed it, get something out of it, no matter what level you're at, if you're just beginning, or if you've been doing Liberty for a while. Um, I hope that you found something that could be helpful to you, or something has sparked some thought in you to think about uh, certain concepts or ideas within ourselves. Have fun, do not get frustrated. Um, enjoy yourself, be safe, think about the proper headwear, proper footwear, and please, if you are enjoying our tutorials, please subscribe. 
just that one little touch of that little button can be so helpful to us and how we are trying to help you and help horses all around the world. And um, it helps us a lot if you will subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Thank you.